A little hanky panky. Shit, her implants are older than I am. Can't believe she finds the spares to keep them running. Hey! Hey, you're a troubled soul if I ever seen one. Get you something to ease the mind. Take the edge off. Got the whole alphabet. CFP, PCP, resin, skate smash, maybe Vanadol? Or maybe something that'll make you hot, huh? Sin, MDA, a little LP9. That last shit's so good it'll make you cry. Okay, let's see, show me. got here. Ain't you just the cutest thing? If you're looking for a release, I just might be your man. Got a message for fingers. Comes from the Tiger Claws. And that message would be? Two things. Urgent and confidential. Meaning? remember a thing afterwards. Who can blame them then?
Hey, you all right? No way I'm gonna swim! I hate water! Can't you see nobody cares? Fingers. Know where I can find him? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, only I got left the shredded cables and empty bottles. Persistent shortages, catastrophic pollution, and the undying legacy of the Komo. Meanwhile, up on the moon, the economy continues its nosedive following the price collapse of the Cheese Rock's main export, Helium-3. Chair of the Lunar Association of H3 Producers, Julian Adebayo, said he's actively seeking new markets for their stock. Time being, doesn't seem he's having much luck. In England, the four members of the royal family suffered severe chemical burns when they got... Breaking point, just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. <laughs> I don't owe you shit! <laughs> oh, but you do. And that shit has a name. Something around 20 thou. What? Come on, you pulled that number out of your ass! Hey, what's that tone with me, you skank? Hey, look in the mirror. Who paid for all that? Think Fingers would have fixed a cracked faceplate for free? You want out? You gotta pay me back. Suckers hey. not to come round here no more. Hello? There's a line. Nuh-uh. You ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. You know him? Heard some things, yeah. Like... His hand sometimes slips. What's up with you? Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell did she go back to Clouds? 
Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. V, get it together. What's up with you? Hey, Del. How can I be of assistance? Actually, gotta go. Of course. Goodbye. Mox don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs. No. Why? Her joy toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in. Yeah, well... Can't solve all the world's problems at once. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how, exactly? The moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. person get out of my clinic right now via the door what a fucking shit stuff got a couple questions quicker you answer quicker we'll leave you to get back to your patients logical through and through impossible to argue with you see, my patient here is likely to feel ever so slightly awkward if I leave half her face off. Upper eyelid retractor on that faceplate's busted. She won't be able to close her eye completely. You think I don't know that? Sadly, this is the second-hand schlock I'm forced to make do with. Third-hand and fourth-hand, too, by the look of things. Consider the alternative. No eyelid at all, no faceplate to speak of. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. No, she came here to your clinic. Yes, but I have a procedure I must finish. May I? Well, come on. You can go back and play doctor once you're done with us. I guess you'll have to wait, darling. 
Circumstances what they are. My fucking eye can't wait! There, there, wipe away your tears. Don't want any short circuiting now, do we? You tiger claws? As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mock. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Heard you help the working girls around here. Well. Very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. These girls know you're chipping faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Know that? You're looking for a... friend? <laughs> Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office. Please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a... Wind jittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with tics. Really, I'd love to help, but... If only I knew who you were talking about. Suggest you start remembering all you can. Either that or I'll make sure you never forget my face. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. Want details, damn it. Name the studio. They mentioned a moth of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. Need air. I'll be outside.
Let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together! Wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. I've got a better idea. Know where we can get our hands on an XBD. Might not be a death's head, but it'll be a start. Was on a contract, taken out on a guy named Jotaro Shobo. Mm-hmm. The mocks put a bounty on his head. So you were the one to cut him down. Found out he was dealing in XBDs. Sourced from someone on Jig Jig Street. Got the coordinates. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. Yo, man, you trying to rip us off? I got four bags missing here. That's the cut I got off Pablo. Don't like it? Take it up with him. I ain't dealing with Pablo. I'm dealing with you. That means you and me got a problem. Now, I could paint the sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't get me what I'm owed. Oh, you want to try? Go on, son.
wanted something raw, untouched. Raw's all you get with me. What's your edge? I want something that'll floor me. Really scramble the neurons. And we've got it all, man. Bare knuckle boxing, shootouts, black ops interrogations, amputations. No, 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 no. I mean something like, well, you know. Fetishes. No, come on, you know what I mean? No, I don't. Think I'd be doing this job if I could read minds? I want to know what it's like to, to kill somebody. See? Wasn't so hard. So, got some classics from the last Corp War, or armed robbery if you're looking for something fresher. Looking for BDs, a particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cops are like kids. Mommy and Daddy wouldn't let them go off on their lonesome. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. Ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Where do you get these scrolls? Said you weren't a pig. Just curious, that's all. Once you booted up your virtue, dare say your curiosity will be satisfied. People that make these, <laughs> obsessed with privacy. Never even occurred to me to ask where they're from. To which caution I probably owe the fact that I'm still alive, talking to you. I'm no connoisseur, trust me. <laughs> sure. All I need to know is who makes them and where. Now listen, I just sell whatever sells. Nice, calm job. Let me see some eddies. You can pick one. Parse it, and I won't care a hair. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you.
I don't do small talk. Estás.
勝に輝いたフォースウォールスタジオの傑作マックスウェルズ・リハット Yes, what's up? Good to see you, B. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing. Very. I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Worse? Cause I got plenty to lose. 
By car, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this her? Your thief. She's my witness. B. Can speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are. You have it. B. You can trust Oda. All right, then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until... your Nobu lunged at Saburo and started Silence! Checking. Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe. In this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama. Most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't you ignore the truth! The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. What would you do now were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. you Oda. Cannot... Not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour sock of whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes. And obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said, they returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We all need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Hang on. Not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. But you said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in All Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No, just the fixer, Dane. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? J. 
JJ Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Uh, just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I... Um, I am simply not used to such question. People like me. Either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Got something that'll keep you wet for hours. Hey, you looking for some company tonight? Well, you found it, baby. Would we go somewhere, or is this a dark alley type of party? I ain't no scuzz ass slut. I got my own place. Not be good with names, but I do have quite a talent for faces. Where have I seen yours before? On the TV? Very unlikely. Oh, but of course! Hideshi Hino! The man, the legend, in the flesh! Oh, you are just in time. Do you know who this is? Hideshi Hino, the late night comedy host! He was brilliant before he fell off the wagon. Can you still do your famous better bugger up? No. Come on, you don't forget a thing like that. Just once, please. V, we should go in. Now. Hideshi, don't leave this poor guy hanging. This is not the best time. Truly. Oh, come on. I haven't heard it in years. Oh. Beta, back up! Wow. 
Inosan. What happened to you? I do not know. I do not recognize myself. Are you happy? May we go? Fine, let's go. Hideshi Hino, to have fallen so far. Such a shame. See? Si? Hello? No, no, I am just fine. Thanks. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Well, well. Who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Okako, long time no see. So what brings you here? And your charming friend is? Hideshi Hino, the comedian. Yamero the Yutenda. Takemura Goro des. Okada san, oai de kite koe des. Ha, a true gentleman. Ha, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. I would have already made the call if you intended to. Simple. You're curious to see what we got. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Let's start with the eddies you already owe me. Sandra Dorset job. Weren't in any rush to collect before. Surely you can wait a little longer. V, now is not the time. Tell Okada-san what we come for. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Arasaka, Tiger Claws. Kinda like the family dog screwing the cat, hmm? Can't possibly be fond of the people who killed your grandkid. That was very long ago. Time's the best healer. Wound like that, though. A wound like that, no. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free. You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka. The guest of honor will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner. One, at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old, automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. 
That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. V? Whatever you're planning against Arasa, what is it? Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husband's knew Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the Tiger Claws. Rude Japan town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pool, sold sex and black market tech. Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermo imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Wanted to say something? Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before that time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Soft slacker! Another fucking weasel. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. In fame, I could not overtake you if I tried. Be safe, B. Tried your look at the slots? I beg your pardon. You look like a man whose last best hope is a stroke of good fortune. You truly think so? Fortune is like a roulette wheel. Sometimes all it takes is a little push, a risk. Hmm, perhaps. Perhaps you have a point. I appreciate this advice.
My oh my, look at her, so pretty. Hey, Goro. Wow, you look like a million eddies.
Sergey? Nice of you to ask. Lately I feel like there is a neon sign over my head that says, Sergey who fuck with Tigger Claws. I have little present for Tigger Claws sitting in garage. How'd you piss off the Tiger Claws? Ah, it was just a... Uh... Friendly misunderstanding. Hmm, sure. This man, he look normal. Beard, brown shoes, nothing, you know, breathtaking. And they also have little dog, Gospody. What kind of hitman goes around with dog? This misunderstanding involve you shooting him? It was worse. Much worse. Ah, I say too much already. All right, then, fling me the coordinates. Just a moment. I opened door to garage. It opened from inside, too, just in case. Presence the car. It's a bit more than ordinary car, but in nutshell, yes. Just drive it there, and they take care of the rest. And don't mess this up, huh? I count on you.
Oh, it's not him. Thank God. Quick, let me out before he returns. Unusual, as far as presents go. What? What did you say? You're supposed to be my present. A surprise from a certain Sergei. You're not making any sense! You know, like a pop-out cake. Except there's no cake. There's lots of blood. And you are? Alex Pushkin, senior assistant in quality assurance at Biotechnica. What's a Corpo QA doing messing with the Tiger Claws? You work for Tiger Claws? I, I, I told them I, I would not accept their offer. Sorry, bud, but your fate's been sealed. Something for us? Sergei sends his regards. Fucking clown. Run over to Shu and tell him a package is here. So that's it. Sergei's off the hook now? Now you're this. You're not needed here anymore. Questions, B. You simply do what is asked of you. 
I admire such an approach, and I know how to compensate it. Contract closed.